There are about 2,000 other babies born in Britain today, and all of them will receive a special gift. They'll each get a special silver penny made by the Royal Mint to commemorate this day. It's marked with the Royal Arms and the year 2013. Babies born today in this country won't receive a special coin and most won't live like a prince. But hundreds of Canadian newborns are still royalty in the eyes of their parents. Briar Stewart looks at what awaits those children in the world. As little Landon made his way into the world, there wasn't a media circus waiting. But during the two-hour drive to the hospital, his parents were on someone's radar. Pretty exciting until I seen some red and blue lights behind me. But. The couple was actually pulled over for speeding, but quickly led on their way. Landon was born at 6 this morning. As for that other birth, it couldn't be further from their minds. Might make a difference if we were somewhere like over in England. It might make a huge difference, but to me, it's just another baby born on... <laughs> In fact, around the world, around 370,000 babies were born today. Many of them, even in Canada, will face difficulties the royal baby will never know. There's so much more challenges and barriers that our teen parents face as opposed to what somebody like Kate Middleton would be, would be facing. So these are all the donations that we got. The Terra Centre works with teen mothers, again. many of and whom struggle to find housing, we'll depend on donations and live in poverty. The skin. definition of poverty is different when you're single as compared to when you're single with a child. So, and being a teen parent facing even more barriers, it's a really difficult situation that they're in. So we try and help them as much as possible. Globally, the picture is much more dire. According to Save the Children, every year, one million babies die the very day they're born. Children who do grow up in developing countries face malnutrition, disease, and earlier death. Sierra Leone has the lowest life expectancy, just 47 years old. Both Kate and William's baby and little Landon can expect to live to about 80. Where you're born and who you're born to, what is your family situation, uh, will play a great role in what your success in life will be like. So it really is uh, the lottery of life. And though we don't even know the little royal's name, we do know one thing. The odds are definitely stacked in his favour. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Edmonton.